I'm, I'm afraid not for this, but for life, you know? Uh, it's my birthday next week. I'm gonna be 22, and that is basically 100. That's, dude, that's having one foot in the grave and the other on a banana peel. My days are numbered. <laughs> uh, and I'm scared too getting older, because people stop giving a shit, a shit about you so quick. And you know, like, think about it, like Samuel L. Jackson. Right? Just think about him. Um, that man, dude, he was in Marvel movies. That man was in Star Wars. That man is in two-thirds of every Quentin Tarantino movie. And then he turned 70. Where'd he go? Credit card commercials. Do you guys remember commercials? Do you remember that shit that we all agreed to skip? He's in them. Mace Windu's in them. He's the most successful actor of his generation. He's one of the most financially successful actors of all time. And he's peddling plastic. For who? For who? This dude, this bald motherfucker's talking about what's in your wallet. Very little, Samuel L. <laughs> Very little. What's in your wallet, Samuel L? What's in your Pulp Fiction bad motherfucker leather wallet? Literally millions of dollars. You don't need this job, bro. Take a nap. Take a nap. Um, it's weird getting all there, too, because for many years I've been a deeply closeted old man. Uh, <laughs> though I may look like a, like a handsome devil in the prime of his life, on the inside, where it really counts, I am miserable and arthritic. <laughs> I can't relate to youth anymore, you know? Have you ever heard a young person talk about Fortnite? It sounds like they're describing a nightmare. A little kid comes up to you with that like fuck-ass broccoli hair and a jawline sculpted by years of mewing. And he comes up to you, he's like, dude, me and my squad, that's me, Blake, Logan, and Xavier, uh, we were on a big bus in the sky, and then we fell from the sky, and we were there, and Goku was there, and LeBron James was there, and then we saw a Travis Scott concert, and then Peter Griffin killed us all with a sniper rifle. What the fuck? Am I crazy? Like, that feels insane. What are you saying? It doesn't make any sense, and it makes me angry, and a lot of shit is starting to make me angry. Like, I, I hate going to the store. You know, some people love the store. You tell them you're going to the store, they say, can I go? Their face is light, like a dog, you know, can I come with you? Like a voyeur, like a pervert. They don't want to spend any, they just want to watch you drain your bank account. And it pisses me off, dude. I, I live right next to a Walmart, and, uh, and I'm getting really sick of the Walmart greeters. You know what I mean? Because they always pick somebody, they pluck him out of retirement to sit at the front door, look depressed, and watch people steal. <laughs> That's the job, dude. <laughs> they always get, sometimes they'll get like a, like a little white lady, like somebody who would use the phrase, all be bad. I love the phrase, all be bad. I've stolen the phrase, all be bad. Because when a white lady says it, she's like grabbing another cookie. She's using like too many Weight Watchers points, you know? It's adorable. Uh, pro tip, if a white man tells you he'll be bad, fucking believe him. Just believe him, bro. The last time that group let loose, they stormed the Capitol. <laughs> but back to Walmart. We're still at Walmart. Um, the greeters, sometimes the greeters, you get one that tries to be like too friendly, you know? I had one a couple days ago. He said, hey man, you ever been here before? And I said, to Walmart? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's nobody's first time here, dude. You're not taking anybody's department store virginity today. You're not popping any big business cherries. We know the routine. Um, speaking about virginity, I love Bob Dylan. <laughs> I love Bob Dylan. I follow Bob Dylan stan accounts. Uh, I'll say that again. I follow Bob Dylan stan accounts. More than one. Uh, and these pictures that they post of, of uh, Nobel Prize winning 
Bob Dylan. They're not pictures of him in the 60s. This is not voice of a generation Bob Dylan. These are photos of Bob Dylan taken yesterday. And I don't know if you guys know this about Bob Dylan. He's old as fuck. <laughs> okay? He's 82 years old, and he looks a thousand. I told my friend that I follow these Bob Dylan stand accounts. He said, I thought Bob Dylan died. He didn't. But nobody told his face. Because I follow these Bob Dylan stand accounts, and all the captions, they say shit like, Wow, what a gangster. Legends. Never seen an old man with this much swagger. And this is the picture that they post. <laughs> and that's courtesy of reddit.com. Uh, that's the Bob Dylan subreddit of which I am a proud member. Um, but uh, you look at like Bob Dylan in 1966, right? You look at Bob, thank you, Cam. Um, and would I thirst for this man? No. But I, I get it, you know? The jawline, again, sculpted by years of mewing. <laughs> the eyebrows, you know, that little scarf. He looks like a very stern twink. <laughs> but this is not the content you get when you follow at Bob underscore Dylan underscore big fan on Instagram. When you follow Bob underscore Dylan underscore big fan on Instagram, you get content like this. <laughs> That's him in 2004. And before you all jump to the defense of Ellen Degenerated, and you say, but Ryan, it's not fair to make fun of a man who's trying a new look. I know, okay? Because for a full year in high school, I looked like this. I know, okay? But I, I thought it wouldn't be fair to Bob Dylan to just come out here and rag on him too much, you know? Because the difference between me and Bob in that last photo, there he is again, is that I was 16 and he is 60 there. But I thought we could do something brand new. We, we, we could really up his image, you know, we could make him appeal to a brand new generation. So using the power of artificial intelligence, I created this. <laughs> and that's a man who's ready to play Fortnite. That's all I got. Thank you, guys.